All right, let's read the book of Revelation, and hopefully I can share with you some thoughts and ideas maybe you've never thought of before. Okay? Revelation 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace, from him which is, and which it was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto god and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen all right so i want you to keep this uh this phrase right here he has made us kings and priests unto god and his father keep this in mind okay because jesus being the prince of the kings of this earth these kings, the kings of the earth, is not the same as the kings and priests that he makes us who are saved, who are born of God. All right, so we that are born of God are kings and priests, not of this world, but of the world to come. All right, so we are royalty. We have authority from God to preach the word of God. All right, keep that in mind. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well, because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. This is important because it establishes beyond any doubt that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom of patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay, to give you a visual of the isle of Patmos, I kind of find this stuff a little bit interesting. Just to sort of give you a visual here. If I can find it, I believe this is it. Should get confirmation of it right there, Patmos. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where you're standing, but uh, you can zoom in all the way and you can uh, see images from this particular island, Cave of Revelation. This is what they claim is uh, the spot, I guess, where John was when he wrote the book of uh, Revelation. So, kind of interesting, if you're interested in that. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as a, of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a two, um, sorry, went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, 
I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forever. I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden sticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Okay, so it's important to understand that these seven stars were in the right hand of Jesus. John saw them. Jesus explained what these seven stars are. It does not in any way mean that the stars you see up in heaven are angels. It does not mean that at all. The seven candlesticks are the light of the seven churches. So they are uh, essentially the seven churches. So keep that in mind as, uh, as we read uh, the next chapter. Okay?